All right, so once you have every piece of your mold made, I think this ended up being one, two, three, I mean, I lost track. Oh, well, uh, one, one, two, three, four, five, six, I ended up with, um, because I have weird hair, I had to go with the weird hair, couldn't make myself bald. Um, anyway, so the first thing is we're gonna use, and you can use wooden wedges too, I've used that before, but we're gonna use a flathead screwdriver and we're gonna use a rubber, rubber, <coughs> rubber mallet. Um, and we would never wanna use a metal headed hammer against the plastic handle, because it'll just crack it um, eventually. Um, but first, before we start, and before we start working on the seams, we're gonna tip it back. Um, move that. And we're gonna kind of remove this board, which will give us access to some more, to seeing where some of the seams are. And so we won't have to, um, it, it'll take, like taking away a piece that will be kind of in the way. Also, it makes it easier for these other pieces to come free. Um, but first, there is a small screw on here. I'm gonna chisel some of this plaster away. Actually, I'm gonna chisel a bunch of this plaster away. Just so we don't have to do it next time we use this board. Um, I wanna put the stand back together again. Um, so there's a screw in there, and it's a Phillips headed screw, which you need a Phillips headed screwdriver for. And get it in there and turn it counterclockwise. So there's a screw. Let's set this aside so we don't end up stabbing ourselves with it later on. We put the Phillips screwdriver away. Um, we might be able just to pop, oop, um, tap on this a little bit. Right, somewhere else. Hopefully that was the only screw. Sometimes there could be a second screw. I know. All right, so that pops off. And that's where that board was attached. There, the stick was attached. The board was attached to the stick. Um, set that aside, and now we can see some over um, some more of our seams here. Um, and we can see where it's kind of thin right here, so we're going to be careful around that spot. Um, it does kind of thicken up quickly because the neck kind of goes in there. Um, also, going to think about where the middle, the the I don't remember where the front. Where was the front of the face was? Memory. It's right here. This is where sort of the nose is. And well, it's anything. You don't want to sit there and kind of come in at it really hard in one spot because you just break chunks off. But you also push, splinter off the inside of the mold. So we want to be kind of, we want to be gentle. We want to go slow. Um, go slow. So let's find this. We'll take the flat head screwdriver and put it in kind of line with that groove. I can see it. There it is. I'm going to gently get in there and tap. And then wiggle a little bit and I'm going to stop. I'm going to go over here on this one. Tap. Now one of these pieces will probably come off easier than another. <sighs> kind of like almost be like a key. Um, a key brick in an arch. Um, I think that's what it's called. Make sure you don't roll it off on off the table onto your foot. That would be a bad thing to tap in there. Wait a little bit, like a pry, a little bit, prying it a little bit. up. Okay, so there's our first piece. Ta-da! Um, we're going to set that aside. We don't want to forget that this is what we want. If you do break up, like say there's broken parts, save those parts. Don't just leave them on the table with this stuff because you'll end up throwing it away. So if you break off chunks, um, things go wrong, don't just throw stuff away. Don't give up. Um, all right, now let's see if anything else goes. Ah, 
this one that I made two is going to come off, oh, almost came off as one. Um, sometimes it happens. If you had like two parts in the back and they come off as one, leave them together. You know, if they're stuck together, leave them together. It'll be easier to put your mold back together after that. Oh, that one. That one just came off easily. If it ends up being, you can always dig the clay out of the mold, although that's not a good sign for getting the plaster out of the mold. That doesn't bode well. But anyway, you can always turn it into what's called a waste mold. Um, they do design molds where they're just like a two-part mold where you dig the clay out of the two, you break it apart, you dig the clay out, and then you uh, end up in the, to get the mold off of the other piece. So there's that. So you can see this is gonna be a little tricky in here. That's gonna get stuck. Um, clay's more forgiving than the plaster. You can peel the clay, it'll bend and just tear off. When you do, when we take this off the plaster, some of this might break off. A lot of it might break off. Um, anyway. <laughs> Doesn't look anything like me. Anyway, um, I'm actually gonna do something with this as well later. So I am going to wrap them up. But you can let this, for you guys, you can let these dry out. Unless you want to try and make another mold or do something with it. Um, let them dry out. We'll smash them up and reclaim the clay and it'll live again another day. All right. <laughs>